The Leguan armored vehicle launched assault bridge system. This modern bridge layer ensures that the Bundeswehr's combat vehicles can move freely. At 63 tons, this behemoth is an absolute heavyweight on the battlefield. However, as a mobile bridge, the Leguan itself often has trouble with its large dimensions. The armored vehicles measure 15 meters in length when the 14-meter bridges are loaded onto it. Just to give you an idea, the sides of my house don't even measure 10 meters. That just goes to show you how unusual it is. You can't imagine it. And especially in densely packed forests, situations do arise that can get really hairy. The Leguan is the successor to the Bieber Bridge layer. The Army received its first seven units in 2017. Just like its predecessor, the Bieber, the Leguan also lays the bridge horizontally in a so-called free cantilever system. This ensures that the silhouette of the rapid bridge is especially small and thus relatively hard to detect. The Leguan is 15 meters long, four meters wide, and around four meters high. It weighs around 63 tons. The bridge accounts for about 11 tons of that figure. The chassis is based on the Leopard 2. With a 1,500 horsepower, 12-cylinder multi-fuel engine and two turbochargers. This means the vehicle can reach up to 70 kilometers per hour. The bridge launching system consists of one 26-meter and two 14-meter long bridges. The maximum bridge length is 35 meters. One of the most important components of this armored vehicle is the stabilizer blade attached to the front. When laying the bridge, this blade bears virtually the entire weight of the bridge. The system is brand new and has been tweaked down to the smallest detail. About 80% of its operation is automated. We can lay a bridge just as easily at nighttime as in the daytime. With the hatch closed or open, it doesn't matter. Electronic night vision equipment, cameras, and a laser rangefinder ensure good visibility. During transport, the two symmetrical bridge sections, each 13 meters long, lie flat one on top of the other. When laying the bridge, they're raised up. The lower half of the bridge then slides forward. You have to be focused. There are a huge number of steps that have to be followed to lay the bridge. Although most of them are carried out automatically, you still have to be aware of what's going on. And if there's a fault in the system, how to correct it. Connecting the two 13-meter-long bridge sections forms a strong bridge spanning 26 meters. The main jib then pushes this forward and positions it over the obstacle. An experienced crew needs only about six minutes for this. The maximum obstacle width that can be overcome using this system is 24 meters. One of the key tasks of combat engineers is to facilitate their own movement. With the new Leguan battlefield bridge laying system, we can ensure the mobility of the new Leopard 2A7V battle tank over terrain obstacles. First, the Leguan drives over the newly laid bridge. This ensures that it's sitting stable and secure over the obstacle. In a combat situation, the Leguan crew would remain undercover after laying the bridge as the battle tank crosses the obstacle first. The Leguan bridge can support tracked vehicles weighing up to 73 tons. This is important for the latest version of Germany's field-proven Leopard 2 battle tank, the A7V. In the coming years, more than 100 of these fully modernized and upgraded Leopards will enhance the fighting power of the tank force. This is especially important in terms of national defense and securing NATO's eastern flank as part of the defensive alliance. Weighing in at nearly 67 tons, the combat-enhanced Leopard 2 A7V is the absolute heavyweight of the army. Only the Leguan's ultra-modern battlefield bridges can withstand such a juggernaut without limitations. The two sections of the 26-meter bridge are made from a special aluminum alloy. 
They weigh around 11 tons and are four meters wide. In addition, the Leguan can also carry and deploy two independent 14 meter long bridges. If the bridge systems are laid in combination, the maximum bridge length is increased to as much as 35 meters. Of course, it's exciting, interesting and challenging. It's a massive piece of machinery, a new system. Everyone is impressed when the giant bridge starts to deploy, when the bridge is sort of resting on this outstretched arm, so to speak, and that is what makes this machine what it is. Afterwards, it takes about eight minutes to disassemble the bridge and stow it safely back on the Leguan. The armored vehicle isn't just equipped with state-of-the-art technology, it also has significantly improved armor, thus offering the crew more protection. The crew compartment is isolated and has its own separate shielding. There are no flammable liquids in the crew compartment. They're either in the plunk compartment, the engine compartment, or outside on the cladding. Following initial trials with troops, the Bundeswehr has ordered a further 24 Leguan systems. These are scheduled to be delivered in 2028. The Bundeswehr will then have more than 31 of these powerful state-of-the-art combat bridges.